Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2024 Mathematics. Today, I will explain you how you can solve the question number 28 with the help of the shortcut tricks. So remember, if you read the statement very carefully, what is given to you? G is the inverse of the F. That means, this is given to you. Fine. And your target is to find the determinant of the Jacobian matrix G at this point. Fine. So now, but the function is given as a G. Function is given in terms of the F. The, there, are, there are the two methods. Firstly, you can take this function as x square minus y square some another function u and x like of this and found the value of the x in terms of the u and v f1 and y in terms of the u and v and then find the Jacobians with respect to u with respect to v and so on but that will take a lot of the calculation. The other way that's the simplest way is what is the shortcut trick is I can found the inverse of the f I can found the Jacobian of the f at the point g. Fine. I can found the Jacobian of the jf at the point g. So what is the g? Okay, fine. g is the inverse of the f and you have to find this value. So I assume say a comma b is my f of 2 comma 1. Fine. I can found the 2 comma 1 directly from here but there is no need of them. What is the f inverse of a comma b? That is my 2 comma 1 and what is my f inverse? f inverse is my g. So what, what, what you conclude from that? It means, can you conclude that? It means your, your target is to find the value of this Jacobian at the point of 2 comma 1 only. So that's a very simple now. So what you can do? I can copy this here. Now can you find the Jacobian of the f? So it will be partial derivative of the first part with respect to the x, partial derivative of f with respect to y, this with respect to x, this with respect to y. Now at the point of 2 comma 1, this value will be 4 minus of 2, 2 and 4. So it is a 16 plus 4 that is 20. So what is the right answer of this? 1 over 20 that is 0 0.05 is the right answer of this problem. And you can see f of 2 comma 1 by using this inverse property I can found the value of the g is my 2 comma 1. So that is a simple answer of this problem in a quickly 10 to 15 second time period. You can watch my other lectures available at the gate mathematics and you can see Maxima question 19 and all are available in this playlist. If you are new to my YouTube video you can simply scan and join my WhatsApp group. I will come up with the next video very soon. Till then best of luck students. Happy learning.